What is up people, Skywalker Hendrix here with another video for you guys today. I am looking at the Star Wars The Black Series Count Dooku. And as you can see, this is a older figure as it is in the red box, but uh, essential figure. Um, obviously, uh, been waiting to open this for a little bit now, Couldn't just couldn't resist so this is count dooku you can read the bio if you choose just pause the video number 107 in the black series line as you can see count dooku right there with the bigger print going down the box uh, nice window there obviously this is the old packaging but he still is a great figure um better than the sh figure arts count dooku i do not have that figure but i have seen reviews on it and people say all the time this one is way better just the face looks better and the colors are way better on this figure super cool figure it even comes with a little swoosh accessory so Let's take a look at Count Dooku. Alright, and for his accessories, he comes with his classic Count Dooku lightsaber. This thing is uh, iconic, you know. I am I grew up on the prequels, so... Well, grew up on the prequels and the originals, but, you know, because... This is just iconic. I, I do like the prequels very much. They are nostalgic for me personally. So same with the original trilogy. I only collect original trilogy and prequel figures. Um, So very cool to get this in the collection. And he also comes with something that. I don't believe we've ever seen in the Black Series before. I know this is an older figure, but they have not done this ever since or before this figure. If I'm not mistaken, and this is just a lightsaber swoosh. So, you take out this blade, and it just separates right there. And you can pop this blade in, and it looks like he's, you know... Well, you know, swinging the swinging the lightsaber around. Very, very cool that we got that. You know, I'm tr I'm gonna try to see if it it fits on the Vader hilt because that would be amazing on the Darth Vader hilt, in my opinion. It goes really well with this figure, though. Just taking them out of the package, it's like. Oh, it's so it's so good so let's move on to count dooku all right and here is the count fresh out of the packaging and he feels amazing in hand his cape feels really nice um just very very i i was excited for this figure but i had just started collecting about like seriously collecting like about a year ago so i never got a chance to get this figure pre-ordered or in stores because i was just at my peak of starting to get into collecting black series like hardcore so was never to, able to get this figure but i eventually found him at a game stop so super thankful about that he has the butterfly joints, and that is essential. Oh, I, I almost want to get a second one of these and customize it. Very, very cool. Obviously, the head sculpt of Sir Christopher Lee um, is amazing. This thing looks awesome. As I said, better than the SH Figuarts version of this character. So, the count is just looking amazing. Can't get over how cool this figure is. Essential for the 
prequel shelf if you do collect the prequels as I do. So his articulation is up about that far, down about that far. Obviously, you can twist them all around. Um, decent head tilt as he has some neck articulation as you see that neck moving with the head. So, and if we get the cape back as I shown earlier, there are some nice butter butterfly joints in there. Always love to see the butterflies. Um, pretty decent elbow as it goes up past 90 essential on a figure, especially lightsaber wielding. Uh, ab, not crazy ab crunch or nothing. Not crazy side to side. You can, you know, twist them around. And here we see the legs go up about that far, back about that far, and they go out about that far. So, good leg articulation. He does have single knees, and they go up that far very nicely. Back and forth for the foot, and some rocker in there. This figure is truly amazing. Super, super in love with this already. This has probably been out of the package five minutes, so very impressed with this figure. The likeness is incredible. Can't wait to have him displayed in the prequel collection. We always need some more bad guys in the prequel collection, obviously. Um... I need General Grievous next, so trying to trade someone for that. But always, always essential to have the bad guys. Love the bad guys. Need some more red blades, always. So I will get him in a pose for you guys, and that is my review. All right, and here is my pose for the count. He is looking absolutely amazing in my opinion. Love this figure. Just super essential to me in my opinion. Um, all the paint apps and everything. It is very simple look to him. But all the paint is just spectacular on the hilt everywhere. He just looks amazing. Um... Can't wait to display him with my other prequel characters. So, that is my review for today. 100% recommend this figure. Um, I will see you guys in the next video. Leave a like and subscribe if you liked this video. Alright, peace out.